rock and roll in three, two, one. Blasting off, first race of the day. Welcome What's going on guys? Welcome to the Bike Nation channel. Uh, this is the Tour de Murrieta stage one race. And uh, yeah, first time doing this race. It's gonna be my first time doing a lot of these races. Um, I did a couple laps, one up laps on the on the, on the course. With my teammates, you know, talk strategy. Uh, talked about you know what roles, what kind of things we want to do, uh, whatnot. So uh, definitely came into this mm, into this race with a plan. You know, plans are always just something to kind of aim for. But um, we, what I've been learning is. You know, it's really hard to execute these plans when a race, you know, starts developing and things are constantly changing. So, um, I can tell you this now: our plans were were almost there, but they didn't, they didn't, they didn't, they didn't pan out. You know, a lot of things, a lot of different things happen in this race, and uh, I mean, good and bad. But uh, you know, I want to say more, more. More good. We all came out, you know, with no injuries, and we all finished the race. And I think we all learned a little bit more about each other, about our strengths and whatnot. So that was good. Um, this turn was pretty sketch here. Um, I yelled at this guy a little bit uh, in front of me to let go of those brakes. Um, I see he was struggling a little bit on the turns. I didn't like that too much, so I kind of got off his wheel. Um, it's also something else I'm learning, you know. If you don't like the way someone's riding, then don't be around that guy or the person. Don't blame them for riding. They're all learning just like, yeah, I mean, I'm sure I rode like that at one point. Um, so, no hating on him. I'm sure he's just learning. And for all I know, that's, this is his first race, so he's probably scared of people going up inside of him. I don't know, but like I said, you ride your race and you know if things happen things happen you know so uh, I got off his wheel I didn't I didn't like the way he was taking the turns and yeah so I moved up a little bit um, so yeah this um, I'm I'm taking no I've been doing a lot of training and crit practice and whatnot and I've been uh, practicing you know keeping my head up um, really analyzing what's going on in the field seeing how people are taking the turns, seeing who's riding strong, seeing who's, uh, you know, doing the type of things that I want to, you know, be part of. So that's what I'm doing these first couple laps, you know, really like paying attention to what's going on in the field and, uh, you know, how people are taking turns and what turns are fast and where I'd like to move up. And I'm already thinking about like if I come, if it comes down to a sprint and I'm there, how, when, I want to take it, you know, when I want to actually accelerate all out and when I want to just let someone, you know, dive in or let someone fill in. I'm thinking of all, all that while still being aware of what's going on around me. So it's early in the race. I'm not trying to get up to the front. Um, none of my our team was really planning on doing too much work today. Um, it's a two day race. Uh, so, you know, you still have to save a load in the tank for the next day, which is a little bit harder. Um, yeah, and right here, it starts slowing up. I notice that it slows up sometimes, and right here, sometimes people like take off. See this guy on the left. I think Pat 605 bike shop is taking off. He's an older gentleman, and I think we, we catch him on this left one, but I think he's going for the preem. I think that's what happened. I wish I knew there was a preem on this lap. Well, I guess I wasn't really paying attention to the, what the announcer was saying because uh, I was right here. I could have totally, like, you know, slung, you know, swung on the left and went for it. Um, was it this lap? No, I think the next lap they call out a preem and I heard it and I was like, I'm in perfect position. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go for it. At least you're going to get pushed out a little bit on the side. Um... There was a lot of teams in this uh, 
in this race. You know, you see the stage guys right there in the, ye the yellow, blue, and red. They were the hosts. Uh, and my two friends up here in the PAA um, team, the blue and baby blue kits. Uh, that's uh, Anthony with the GoPro on top of his head. And uh, their guy's name is, it's funny because he just told me his name in this race. Uh, it's Marshall, there you go. And uh, it's kind of funny. I, was, I said, what's up to them? <laughs> And uh, Marshall yells out, my name's Marshall, because I called him out in another video. I said, hey man, if you watch my video, you know, let me know what your name is. I totally forgot. And, uh, and it's funny to remember, he totally shouted back at me. He's like, my name's Marshall, dude. So that was cool, then. It was pretty funny. Uh, but yeah, I'm sitting right behind them. These guys are way bigger than I am, taller. So, you know, I like finding a, you know, big guy to follow around. I'm smaller, so they like break break the wind for me perfect and they were just moving up really smooth like Marshall like does this really cool um, thing right here which I loved I, man like he's drafting he's drafting right and then right now I think uh, he just pulls over to the left and brings us all the way to the front you'll see right now that he's drafting he's drafting it's slowing down a little bit and what does he do he just rotates to the left and keeps his momentum and keeps and just brings me and Anthony straight to the front and uh, and I saw that man I knew, I knew these these guys were a good wheel to follow so um, I stayed on it and it paid off right here look at this they just brought me straight to the front right now and, and I think this is the yeah this is a preem lap and I don't I don't think I took this preem actually I think I took the next preem. I'm not sure. We'll see right now. I, I don't think so because I was like, I think wheel three when I took the frame coming into this turn. But I do a little, uh, you see, I already took enough laps to kind of know how to ride this this course a little bit and where I want to take the lines, obviously, if, if I can take those lines. Um, so I'm closing the door on people right here. Like, I'm not, I don't want people to dive, dive in on me. And I noticed this turn, the same thing. Everyone uh, doesn't, isn't sure how to take it. So what I do is I wait for people to swing wherever they're gonna swing and then I just fill in wherever they leave me open. Um, and see, yeah, see, I say hi with them. <laughs> say what's up to these guys. Yeah, yeah see, I had a little laugh right there with the guys. Uh, same thing with this turn, man. I, I, I like inside lines, um, especially when uh, people are kind of scared to take them. Just make sure I get on their hip before I get into the turn. So you see like right here, move the two spots. I'm right here. I'm not, trying to, I'm not trying to push anyone out of the way. Just trying to, you know, carry my speed and not take my brakes. And right here, they go right in front of me. And I, you know, it was really smooth at the front. Like this was perfect. Um, I didn't bring my, I forgot my heart rate monitor, but uh, I'm pretty sure my heart rate wasn't anywhere near, you know, you know, one, above 150. Like, I was feeling great right here. I hadn't done any work. Like I said, Anthony brought me all the, I mean, uh, Marshall brought me all the way to the front and set me up pretty good right here. And these guys in the front are, you, know, you see, like, they're, they're trying to break away. Um, I th yeah, they're, see, they're going for that preem. I think it was the helmet pre, man. I really wanted that one. But here I'm just surfing, surfing the wheel. This guy's bringing me up. Pretty cool kit, by the way. And uh, yeah, see these guys are all just playing games now, <laughs> going back and forth. Um, and yeah, I think this is a lot. I'm not sure if this is a lot, but. Uh, I'm sitting good right here, man. I'm, I'm like comfortable right here. I'm like, this is great right here. I'm not I'm 23 miles an hour, just chilling, checking back, making sure no one's diving in. Again, I'm taking the inside line. And uh, this little gap is forming. Like, I already know they're gonna slow up right here. Even though they could carry so much speed, there's no one in front of them. I'm just like, oh, that's cool. Catch right back onto them. See, my speed didn't really change. If you notice, like, they just slowed down. And uh, 
now I'm just just drafting. Like I'm not trying to get in front. I'm trying to just sit here. Like I said, our team did did mention that we did not want to do any work until we needed to, and, uh, and that's kind of where where I focused on. I didn't want to take too many pulls or do anything like that. Um, you know what, this guy in the white, I'm not sure if he's still learning, but he, uh, like, see right here, like he's getting close. Like, he almost, like this guy had to like let him know, hey man, you're going on my my bars, dude, get off. And then he does this weird thing, he just jumps in the front right here. Like, I don't know if he's trying to be cool and take a pull, and I, but I mean, like he just rides into people, like right here, like he's, and he, he and there was a couple other other times where he like literally just rode onto someone's front wheel, and I'm like, what is he doing? You know, I, I don't know, man. I, I, I didn't like riding around him. I didn't feel comfortable. Like, look at right here. He almost knocks this guy again, dude. Like, what is he doing? And he stays here, and I think I push him out on on one of the turns because I was like, man, you're being unsafe. Like, and it wasn't like I put my hand on him or anything. I just kind of took a wide, like I took it inside and then out wide and kind of, you know, guided him off of our off the off the line just because, you know. Right here is my teammate Angelo. I let him in. I kind of scraped his wheel a little bit when he when he got in. <laughs> That's kind of funny. I was like, oh shit. Um, there's a stage rider up up ahead, and uh, I know these guys are trying to chase it back, but you know I I know he's he, he doesn't look like he's pulling away. So like I'm just sitting here, and uh, and they're pulling it back slowly. Like they're not trying to like this guy in the front was this has been pulling for a, more than a lap already. And uh, you see how he like this guy flicks like this is where I take the inside line, and then I just take it wide and push him off this train. I'm like, nope. Like I said, I, I didn't like the way he was just like back, like from one side to the other side, and not really like being aware of like where people were at and like bumping into people. Like it was just not okay. And then I think my teammate comes here, let him know, just stay here, don't take the front, don't do any work. And then same thing in this corner, I let him know, hey, you're okay to take the inside lane. I'm gonna leave room for you. Because I didn't want him to hit the brakes to go behind me. Like I just wanted him to carry his speed. And uh, and this is the pre lap I think I took. Um, blocked the inside and when anyone coming in on me. And uh, look back, I don't see anyone sprinting. I don't got the best kick in the world, so I need to go a little further out than usual, like from compared to other people. So I'm not trying to go straight to the line with someone. I go now. I think I look back here. No one's chasing me. So I'm like, you know what? I think I'm gonna get this. Look back again. Like no one's chasing me. Ease up. I just ease up a little bit. Like you know what? I think I got this. And yeah, took a preem. Twenty five dollars. Not bad pretty cool then I just slow up recovery mode I know I'm not gonna get away I'm not trying to get away just took the preem and slowed up and just kept pedaling a little bit it seems to, I dropped the gear down and just kept just kept spinning you know like you never want to just stop spinning because then it's way harder to get that gear spinning again and I took the inside line here so I went from the right to the left so that people would have to kind of do slow down a little bit. I did it on purpose. It's kind of it's kind of a cheeky move, but it's just something to kind of help myself, you know, not have to like do a crazy surge to get on these guys' wheel again. And uh, so now I'm looking. <laughs> Marsha congrats congratulates me for uh, taking that pre. <laughs> but yeah, here I'm just waiting for my team to come back to me. Um, I think my buddy Daryl lets me know I'm right here. And then I jump right behind him. Just on the left, I think. Oh, there's uh, there's D. Let's me know I'm here. Okay, cool. As soon as I can slot in, I slot in. And just stay here and try to recover. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure my heart rate was pretty high right now. I was out of breath for a good minute, you know? And, uh, yeah, dude, I'm just, I'm gonna recover and I like, I see this big area here and I go right behind him, man. It's a perfect draft for me. Yeah, 
we're gonna do now this it's like a slight uphill right here um as you can see like everyone's like gunning and i'm going like 29 mi nine miles an hour and they're still gapping me but like i said i'm trying to recover i'm not trying to um go with these surges because i know like see how they're all like you know really wide right now all these people are not gonna fit in the on this next turn they're gonna have to hit brakes and uh and that's you know honestly like I, this is the reason i don't like going to the back so much because this happens it, there's nowhere you can go like you, you can only go so far up and all these guys are gonna hit brakes because they're all squeezing this little corner see and you know i hit, i had to hit brakes like there's no way around it like i I started leaving gaps open so I could roll into it, but people were like just filling in, so it, it was a little frustrating, but I mean, it's part of racing. And then right, right here, like, I'm not taking the inside lane like I like to. Um, I think, yeah, he closes, the, he closes the door on this guy trying to go over the top of us. and. Uh, Yeah, this is kind of how the rest of the race goes. Like, I didn't like being back here. It was way too, like, you know, it was too, like, yo-yo-y in the back. Like, see all this, like, turn slow. Like, you, we, every corner, man, like, you would hit the brakes and then just everyone would accelerate. And it got really taxing, dude. Taxing, frustrating, and, uh, but... You know, I didn't move up. I was tr I was still recovering. I, I think it took like two laps to recover um, from the little sprint I did at the, the prime lap. And uh, I think when we see the lap cards, uh, my team tries to get together. We try to organize um, for a lead out, uh, but it gets too chaotic. It gets insanely hard to get together. Um, and you'll see in a, in a few minutes here that, you know, um, the lap cards get pulled out with eight to go, I think. And uh, we're trying to get organized, and uh, it was just, it was just too hard. Um, we weren't, we weren't close enough to the front. And uh, what lap is this? see what lab it was but um yeah you'll see in here in a minute i mean see these uh pa guys uh anthony and marshall like they stay together most of the race man like you'll see like people get in front of uh, anthony sometimes which is the guy at the gopro but uh for the most part they stay together and uh i know anthony's kind of their sprinter so uh, he tries not to do too much work that's marshall do uh majority of the pulling <laughs> which is pretty strong and capable of doing but yeah I don't think I move up anymore in this in the rest of this race like um, and it, yeah it got, it got really frustrating to see we're trying I think this is what we're trying to get getting trying to get together um, Angelo's, I think, communicating with Daryl, which is the guy in the, with the GoPro on his helmet, the white helmet. And then uh, my other teammate right there is in the black helmet. D, looking for Brian, and he's right there in the white helmet on the left of me. I tell him to rotate over here. I point down, I point to uh, to D. So I get behind uh, D. So we're all here, we're all together, right? Everything's looking cool. I'm like, okay, we're all together, perfect. I let Angelo know, hey, we're here. Sturges, I'm like D, get on that. <laughs> he kind of gives me the, like the the hand to kind of like, hey, no, you get behind that. I was like, all right. Um, Sturges right here. Um, you see, right here, like it sounds easy to say this. Um, I guess, like I said in my other videos, like Angel's a really strong rider, man. Like, this guy, he's really strong, and honestly, like I wish he would have moved to the left and told Daryl with the GoPro in front of us to move to the left right here. We see how it swells up and we slow down 23 miles an hour. It would have been the best spot to like just move up on the long side of the left, get the front right here from this 
Yeah, see, we have three laps to go. Like, he, we should have rotated to the left, and I think I yell it out on one of the laps, you know, telling my team, like, hey, move to the left. Like, we would take this inside on the left, just hold the left side, and, uh, and just, and then swing out wide before the, this next turn. You know, and um, we never did it. We never, like, I think we attempted to do it, and then our train just got split up. Like I said, it was it was really hard to get navigate through the peloton when it got into the, the final laps because everyone's trying to get position. Everyone's fighting for someone's wheel, you know? Um, but that we missed that opportunity to move up on that, you know, the, the start-finish side. And right here on these, these you know, these next couple turns, it's just not a good idea to move up. Like, here's another good spot. Like, sure, it's like surgery right here. It gets really fast. And then when it comes, like, maybe like halfway, it slows up again. If I remember correctly. I think it slows up again. Yeah. No, this is... No, yeah, yeah. Never mind. I, I wanted to move up on this side, but I think... Yeah, I kept noticing that it was just picking up, and I knew there was a, you know, this really shady, like, turn over here, which is not that good. But see how we're all split up again? We were all together, and now we're all, like, you know, some of us are on the right, some of us are on the left. Daryl's up up there. Um, and this is where it's, like, now it's, now it's hard to move up. Like, everyone's, you know, really you know, putting some, like, digs in and see how strung out. You know, we're going 28, 29. Like, the last lap, we were going 23 miles an hour right here. And we were all together. We should have moved up at that time. And we didn't. You know, like, right here, I'm looking, you know, I'm like, I don't know where these guys are at. We were all together. Okay, yeah, I find Angelo. But now I'm swarmed on the left. And now it's kind of hard to, you know, rotate to the left. Let's see how it slows down. Like it would have been a perfect time to like burn a match to get the team lined up and brought to the front by here. And right here we're all like, like I don't even. I I want to say some of my, my teammates are behind me. I'm not sure. Um, I didn't want to keep looking back. Okay, yeah. See, I see Brian here, and. At this point, I'm thinking, you know what? Like, I don't know where everyone's at, but I see these these three guys here. I'm just gonna stick with these guys, and um, yeah, like, I, Angelo tried to like get us to the front, and you know, he was just getting like closed out. Like every time he would try to move up, like here, it's getting strung out, and it's you know, like Legion does this all the time. They string out the field to to keep people from moving up. And that's exactly what whoever's in the front is doing right now. They're stringing out the field. They're making it fast. And it's hard to see, like, a team like us, like, we didn't move up. Because, you know, like, it's 29 miles an hour already, 28 miles an hour. Like, how are we, like, we would have to go, like, 33 miles an hour to get to the front now. You know, and so, like, this gap's opening up. But I already know that, that this, as soon as we get to this turn, like, all these people... I think they're taking the turn at the same time are hitting brakes see like I just rolled right back in because they all slow down and the same thing with this turn like but this turn is a little harder because out of this turn everyone's gunning it like see everyone's off their saddle they're all surging and this was really annoying see look see how strung out the field is right now like whoever's in the front is drilling it like they're doing a great job of like holding the front because you know, this is an uphill and you're going 27 miles an hour. And and this is the, you know, something that you need to notice, like, of what's going on here. Like, hey, you know, it's getting strung out at the beginning, but getting close to start the start um, to the finish line, like, it just dials down. Like, left side is the great side to move up, like, but you have to move up before, like, you get to this turn or else you get you're getting cut off this line's getting cut off from you i see like okay so we're there's like four of us together here and i think i think ray and steven my other two teammates are behind me i think i don't know but we're here right and i'm like okay cool we're here we're, we're still together but look how like look how broken up we are like we're not lined up see there's my ray is right there but see how broken we're not lined up we're not riding efficient 
no one's really like conserving any energy we're doing a lot of these surges and uh, you know and that's not something you want to do especially if you're trying to line up like you don't want to do this you know hit breaks in the corner you know surge out of the corner like, you don't want none of that and and that's exactly what we're doing and that's what happens when you <laughs> you don't get in a great position in the final laps and you're you spend the last final laps actually just fighting to get up to the front um but again like i like see i'm already noticing that my legs are getting taxed with all this so i am like in like i don't want a survival mode or now like i'm just not trying to ex like put out more energy like for these like surges like oh yeah my <laughs> teammate d almost loses there he's like oh my god Tell him, man, get over that. Let's go get back in it. Yeah, kind of tell him, man, snap out of that. It happened. You should, you're, you're good. Just keep going, dude. But see, like, they got me here. Everyone's surging. And like I said, this is this is the, the final lapse. Like, everyone surged until we got near the start finish, and then it would slow down again. Um, but like I said, like, I got frustrated because I was following my team and I got really tired of like follow trying to follow my team um i i i, I would have just stuck to the left side and just uh and just moved up on the left the officials like really close to the, to the race i would have like i said i would have just stuck to the left but we're over here on the right trying to move up <laughs> i mean in my opinion it's like the worst side because like you're you're taking wide turns and you're getting, I, yeah, I just, like in the last lap, like I get, like some of the laps when it's strung out, it's sometimes, yeah, it's okay to like, take a little longer line or something, but like right here, like, like we're on the right, we're in the middle, we're on the left. I mean, you know, we're all broken up, we're not together. Like, sure, we're like in sight, but we're not together. We're not working together. We're not like making it easier on other teammates, like to ride their wheel, like it's not. And see, I'm just like right here. I already know that there's a surge coming up, and I'm not trying to do that. I'm not trying to surge, and then my team is surging too. So I'm like, uh, like this is just hurting my legs. It's getting tired, and I'm letting people fill in because I don't want to surge up to my my teammates' wheel. You know, I was like, man, I'm supposed to be feeling better, <laughs> you know. As I come closer to the line, because I have all these teammates, but I'm I'm feeling like more exhausted. But it, you know, like I said, it's not it's not their fault. Like they're just trying to get us to the front, and we just miss we missed the opportunity to do it when we had the chance, and we and now we're paying for it. Like now we're trying to navigate, you know, through a maze here, and we're not we're not getting through. Like see, Angelo's off is like sprinting right there, like to get into that slot, like, and I'm like way back here, like. I'm not doing that. Like it's just, it's just, I don't have the fitness for that. And that, now we're on the left. I'm like, okay, cool, we're on the left. But now D is on the right up there. Brian is stuck on, on Anthony's right side. Anthony lets him in. I mean, like I said, he's a, he's a good writer. He he knew he knew that we were trying to line up, so he let him in. You know, okay, Dean's over here. I was like, all right, cool. So now I move up. I'm like, this is a perfect time to, you know, burn a match. Like, let me get on these guys' wheels. Like they're on the left, perfect. And I don't know what happens here. Like, look at this. We went from together to split. And then, you know, like, the surge again. I was like, okay, I'm on the wheel. Okay, whatever, I'm on the wheel. And, like, there's these two guys on the inside. Like, uh, you know, they let them dive in. That's so I'm like, what are you guys doing? So I close out this, you know, I close it out for our teams. Like I, that's exactly why I close the window. I don't want anyone diving in on our team, splitting us up more, because that's what happens. So here I am again, closing the door on no, for no one to come in, and then surge again. I'm like, oh my god, this hurts. And then there's Steven, another teammate. He comes in out of nowhere, um, coming in wide. And I was like, oh, this surge again. And I'm like, okay, I'm back on. I was like, okay, cool. We're on the left side again. We should have moved up right here. We should have. You know, Angelo should have used that sprint right here and we should have all followed to move up. 
But see how they're like now everyone's like so wide and then Steven moves to the right Angel's on the left and I'm like wait what I thought we were in a train what's going on here and again we're split up <laughs> so I'm like what what happened to our line what happened to like getting up there like now we're like riding by each other like we're not racing with each other you know like I'm like man what's going on and you know like I'm like ah, like I'm like right here contemplating like you know I'm just gonna move up by myself but I'm like tired now like just trying to navigate like see there's this other gap but it's just happening every lap you know in the final laps it's just surging to get to the front because this is a perfect spot to move up like it's a there's a straight the, the road is so like wide there's room you can move up and we all move up on different sides like half of our team is on the right half of our team is on the left there's another guy there's one another teammate of us up in great position daryl i think he's up you know in the top 10 and uh yeah dude like yeah see I, I yelled to these guys right here i to stay to the left dude like i'm trying to get them back like organized <laughs> saying you know telling them to go to the left side and i think my teammate yells stay to the right on over here somewhere and i'm like okay now we're totally off <laughs> Yeah, I see my buddy Angelo. <laughs> he yells us on the right side. <laughs> I don't know if he was yelling at us or if he was yelling at a, on a, on a, at a writer, but <laughs> and now I'm like confused. I'm like, well, okay, what are we doing, guys? You know, like, I was like, okay, like uh, we're kind of back together again. But like, look at look at how like we get disconnected, connected, disconnected. You know, like okay, I caught back on Angelo's wheel, swung a little left just get you know whoever's trying to get on my teammates wheel he surges he's surging right here i'm not trying to surge <laughs> he looks back he's, he knows he's i'm not on his wheel <laughs> i like i said I, i'm there they, they like cooked me like uh, i'm like this whole surgy stuff like we didn't need to do it like daryl's right there i can see him um we're all back lined up on the right i'm like okay but again like i wasn't trying to do these surges anymore like i, I was tired and you know, like here I am. I take an inside line again because you know I know I don't have to hit brakes if I take an inside line. See, I have all this room to just coast through, and Steven should have held on to like the wheel up there, but now he's sprinting, causing Brian to sprint to stay on his wheel, and then causing me to you know also like you know really like sprint to stay on you know my team's wheel. I'm like we're supposed to be efficient. We're supposed to be making it easier for us to like ride because we have numbers but it's turning out to be harder to ride with the team and i two to go yeah you know it, and it's not our it's not the fact that we suck at riding honestly like it's just the, it's just we're still young in the, in the racing scene like i want to say all of us um and and too like we, we haven't ri we don't race together that much like we, this is maybe like our second or third race for some of us together um so we're not used to the way we ride we're not used to um knowing like how our teammates navigate through the field and that's 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 a big advantage and that like i said it's it's not the fact that, that my team my teammates don't know how to race like they know how to race they know how to ride their bikes they know how to handle them and uh they, we just haven't raced together and we're all expecting the other person to do something like like they're reading our minds and they're not they're they're racing how they know how to race um but we just haven't ridden together so you know this was this was frustrating today it was you know annoying i, I mean i i hate losing i hate you know not getting results <laughs> for like you know training so if anything, I was more frustrated, at, you know, of how it turned out. But, you know, it's something you learn and something you go through and you get better. And, you know, that's what we're doing. We're going to we're going to get better. We talked about it. We, we said what we what we did and why we did it. And we now we understand, you know. Um, so we are going to get better as a team. And I think eventually and I, you know, I, I know eventually we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna dial it down to where 
we know exactly what we're thinking and when we're going and who's doing what without like see that guy again the white dude almost knocks the stage guy off dude just like no like he has no <laughs> i'm sorry but i don't mean to knock on anybody but he just has no sense of like awareness of what he's doing and what he can cause by like his actions but this is the final lap by the way this is where i give up because this guy like in the stage on the right you'll see he just totally like jumps in front of me he hits my steep my bar and i almost went down i got pissed dude yeah see I, sorry for the cussing guys i don't mean to cuss <laughs> i was pissed dude this guy almost took me out uh like i had the line i i believe i had the line you guys let me know if i didn't have the line but i believe i had the line um i got on his hip before that turn um but he's still just fucking you know excuse my language but he like just took my whole wheel out from under me right there dude so here i'm just like you know what screw it you know like the whole race i felt like i was just battling to stay on my team's wheel and now i'm just like you know what i don't even want to i don't even want to break the sprint anymore for the, for the fit, you know for the finish like i'm just over it so i like here i'm just heated dude i'm just trying to calm down stay in the back not get into the mix because i'm just gonna punch someone or something you know which is not cool um but you know it's a it's a learning experience and uh tomorrow's another day um we all got something out of it all of our teammates you know like um kind of letting everybody know like hey you, you know i think we need to change this i think we need to change this you know like because i'm I, I didn't do everything perfect I, I honestly like i made a lot of mistakes like in this race so But yeah, here's the finish, man. Look at how far back I am. Like, they're finishing already, I think. And I'm just like, here. And I think the results said that they, they didn't place me. I don't know if it's because I was so far back or they couldn't read my number or what. But I really didn't, didn't care too much about my placing. I, I gave up. So, if anything, I got even more mad at that because I just didn't even try to get back on anymore. I mean, like I said, it was hard staying where I was, and then let alone, like, I just got shot out of the back, because I got, you know. Yeah, man, this this is the race. This is our Marietta planned out for me and my team, and uh, thanks for watching, guys. And until next time, peace.